Hey guys, so today we're looking at one of these uh, very cool lights that I've been seeing a lot, a lot on the internet. Uh, TikTok, um, Instagram, YouTube. Everyone's been using this light and so I just thought I'd grab myself one to see what's up here. As you can see, I have a bunch of RGB lights and stuff like that back here and so I want to always keep enhancing that. This thing looks like it can. Um, basically what it does is that it, it shoots um, a pattern of like the stars in the on my ceiling and it should project a pretty big amount of um, area and so anyway I just wanted to uh, get this and give it a test to see if it's cool or not okay so first off um, USB-C by the way is the connection to this now that I plugged it in it automatically just turns on look at this look at this thing right here that is crazy it is pretty much it's not pitch black in here but the camera should be able to show you all the nice li different colors. So yeah, if you see, there are like stars, blue ones. I mean, you can even see it over, over here more clearly. So you can see the stars over there. And then the other projection, which layers on top, is the actual like movement of the nebula. Is that, is that what you call it? Nebula? Well, yeah, it's animating right here, if you can see that. So it always looks like it's moving. My hand is shaky, so it, I can't hold this thing up without shaking. But yeah, if you look right here, if I move this down a bit more, you can see that the blue stars are right here. So it's projecting two different things. Okay, so there are uh, three buttons on here. I'm gonna go ahead and press it to see. So that button right there is for when I press it, the animation stops. So there's no an animation on that one. Then I press it again. You can really see the animation in this angle right here. Yeah, so one, one button literally is just to stop the animation. While the other one... Okay, so the other button is to dim down the light if it's too bright. That's the brightest right there. And then that's to dim it down and then dim it down even more. But you can really see the animation right now. And then the last button is to change things up so this literally is just stars then you add in the nebula and this change to another nebula obviously my camera is having a hard time with with these type of RGB to my eyes it actually looks very good by the way very very good so it looks about this is all red wow it looks like a hell <laughs> This one right here just turns it off. This is the original one that I turned on. So there's about four to five different pattern that you can uh, use with this. And look at that. It's, it's beautiful. This thing right here is beautiful. Um, so now we can actually see some stars up in there. See that? If, if, I, if I can get it to angle this way. So that's the only thing is that this base right here there's only literally like two ways, two angles that you can put it, uh, which is one is standing it like this, or you go down a little bit more and stand it like that. I wish there was a way to like uh, adjust the angle, you know? That would be great if, if I can adjust the angle. Um, I can take this thing out, but I'm not sure how effective that would be. So yeah, I think that would look really good right there if I, if I kind of tilt it right there so that the top will have some stars to it. Yeah, that's gonna look good. Anyway, anyway, that's it right there, guys. That's the uh, Skylight 2.0. And I think it's gonna be uh, a very modern thing to put in even your kid's room. You know, if, if you need a nightlight or something like that, I think this is gonna be a great product. But for me, I'm gonna be using it um, with my gaming setup to jazz it up a little bit more. So yeah, that's it right there. I hope you guys find it useful.
and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.